Thank you. 130 organizations took part in Greater Lafayette Commerce's Business Expo today. Star City's Chris Morisivica reports the annual event isn't just for companies. Get in the game was the theme for the Business Expo, reflecting Greater Lafayette Commerce's move this year to a new venue at Legacy Courts. Kirby Risk Electrical Supply Lighting Specialist Lisa Layton says it's a great opportunity to showcase her company's products and learn about other businesses. There's a lot of companies here that I had no idea existed or what they do and it's just a neat thing to talk to people and find out what's in our community and, and you know where we can go to get help and, and buy things. Greater Lafayette Commerce President and CEO Scott Walker says the expo reflects the growth in the community and makes it easy for business owners to network. It hits the right spot when we hear my book of sale is filled for the next six months. And so a lot of times that's, uh, that's what happens at this event is there's real commerce that happens and that's really exciting for us to see. That networking opportunity included several representatives from Purdue University. Director of Community Relations Mike Piggott says that's the way it should be. Well, we need to be a part of this expo because we're such a big part of the community. Uh, I got really excited one day when uh, Mitch Daniels was asked about Purdue being annexed into West Lafayette. He said what's good for this community is good for Purdue. And that's the way it ought to be. And that's, I think, the way it is. Piggott and Eris Hoth of the Reamer Club say Purdue's theme this year was fun. We thought it was very important to bring the mascot as well as the oak and bucket here to display Purdue. Uh, we have the Purdue Alumni Association here as well, as, men, um, as well as many other vendors from around campus. Uh, we thought it was a very good way to integrate the university into this expo. Businesses aren't the only participants at the Business Expo. It includes nonprofits as well, such as Habitat for Humanity of Greater Lafayette. We require a, a lot of different skill sets, and this is a great place to find those uh, skill sets other than just construction. And, uh, you know, like any other business, uh, a great place to network and find volunteers. Taylor says Habitat will build its 300th house this year, thanks to support from local business owners and volunteers. Chris Morisivica, Star City News. In news around